Hi, Tiki. Oh, hi. <laughs> I can't believe this. This is crazy. <laughs> Hello my ghouls with guns. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Shay aka the Buff Vegan Witch. And uh, today I'm so excited, as per usual when I start a video, it's exciting. Um, but especially today because today we are doing my first ever episode to my 16 week road to my NPC physique show, NPC um, <laughs> woman's physique, first bodybuilding competition ever. Um, so just kind of my road and my journey to that. I'm still not quite sure what I want to call this series yet because there's so much that plays into it with the vegan physique and being my first show. Uh, we are currently 16 weeks out. So if you have any suggestions for my title for what we're going to call this series, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. Um, I just finished training chess today with my coach at LVAC, which in Vegas, it's Las Vegas Athletic Clubs. Such a good chess day. I literally love my coach so much. <laughs> I love training with him. Like, it's so funny because before I used to be such an independent, like, person in the gym. Didn't want to train with friends. Didn't want to have trainers. Didn't want to have a coach. Like, nothing. It was just me and myself in that gym. And now, like, I don't want to train without him. Like, it's so crazy. So, um, we had a great chest day, feeling nice and pumped still, we even had a little vein start to come out, so that's always exciting, um, but now I am going to head to Starbucks because I have a lot I need to get done today. My mom and I are going to Hawaii, so I'm going to prep and pack and show you guys how I'm going to bring all my meals with me, show you guys how I'm going to stay on track while I'm out there, how I'm going to track everything, um, and you know how I'm going to bring all my supplements and my food and, and all that stuff. And also, um, I've been holding a lot of water weight because I'm also on Accutane right now. So that's why I have like scabs in my nose and like my the sides of my lips are just cracked. Like I don't have boogers, I promise. It's just a scab because my nose is so dry. Um, and self tanner all over my hands because we had to be tanned to go to Hawaii. <laughs> but yeah, so we have, we have a lot to get done today. Um, and then uh, the sauna is just opened back up where I was going with that. So um, at my gym, well, one of my gyms. So. Um, I'm gonna come back tonight after I've done, you know, my day of filming and gotten everything I need to do done while I'm still in a in an okay condition. Uh, and then I'm gonna come back tonight and do my cardio and hit the sauna for a little. Um, it's, you know, I'm here. I should probably just do it now, but I just didn't want to like wreck myself for the day. So uh, looks wise. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back tonight, get that done. And I want to start filming my workouts. The only reason I haven't yet is because um, it's just embarrassing to like film. You know, it's embarrassing to like bring my camera around my tripod and like film my workouts. Like I just I haven't gotten to that point yet. But tomorrow morning we leave at 6 a.m. for Hawaii. So I'm going to wake up super early. I'm going to go to my other gym, the Lift Factory, and I'm going to film my workout tomorrow. So and I don't think anyone will be there and the Lift Factory is a little bit more like hardcore. A lot of more people tend to film in that type of environment than like a typical average athletic club. <laughs> so um, I think we're, we're going to do that so I can probably show you some of the stuff that I'm doing when I'm training and some of the new things that I've learned from my own coach. And um, yeah, so anyways, before I babble on any longer, because this is already going to be a long ass video. Welcome to episode one of Becoming the Youngest Vegan Physique Pro. We are, we are headed that way. We haven't even done our first show yet, but we are already on our pro cards on the mind. So that's the goal. But yeah, 2021, Women's Physique Pro Vegan at 23. Here we go, guys. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and welcome to episode one. Mm. Shake and espresso with the sugar-free cinnamon dolce, spot on, fire, and the shaken up part makes it look like it's got a little bit of foam on top, so it makes me feel like I'm having a latte when I'm not. 
makes uh, black coffee a little bit more tolerable. So good. Okay, the coffee is done, finished, <laughs> almost. Oh, it goes so fast. Um, but I just got home, so before I start packing, I think I'm gonna go tan for a little bit, and um, I will see you guys at the pool. <laughs> Okay, so before I start packing and showing you guys, you know, the stuff I'm bringing as far as my supplements and stuff for food, I think I'm just going to get it um, when I get there to Hawaii. There's a Walmart pretty close to the hotel and I'll just use the microwave because it's the best part about doing this vegan. Like it's tofu and beans and stuff that I don't need to cook. I can just microwave and it'll be safe to eat. So awesome awesome part about bodybuilding as a vegan <laughs> the convenience um so i'll probably just buy it while i'm out there and then just microwave it in the hotel but i just got back from tanning i only did a few minutes each side because i am on accutane i have to be super careful of the sun so we did sunscreen and tanning oil and everything so um, um while i'm in my swimsuit i'll go ahead and show you guys a little physique update while my hair's up and everything and out of the way and um yeah okay this is this is um, my seventh week on prep. We're starting week seven. I've kind of just been on like a muscle building, like a like a pre prep prep. Um, so I am on a you know a strict meal plan. Um, I'm on six meals a day right now. Sometimes seven. I can have an extra cup of rice if there's days where I'm just like you know ravenous, um, depending on like what time I work out and stuff like that. But typically it's six days a week. I mean six meals a day, <laughs> seven days a week, same meals. Um, so we're just trying to put on as much muscle as we can until we get about to that 12 week mark and we'll start, you know, the serious cutting prep. So right now we're just trying to put on a little bit more size, um, but we're still in a prep. We're still in a little bit of a deficit, so it's not going to be anything too crazy once we hit week 12. Um, so yeah, okay, week 16, physique. <laughs> So yeah, obviously I've had like two classes with posing so far, just getting the basics, like not even classes, just like quick, like 10 minute rundowns. So we're still learning all about posing. We are nowhere near where we need to be, um, nowhere near perfect. So don't mind that. But, um, and also excuse the mess between packing and everything. We just, you know, have kind of been throwing stuff around, but yeah, that's my 16 week marker point. So I can't wait to see how we're looking in a few weeks, even it's exciting stuff. Okay, so before I start packing, um, I wanted to show you guys just some of my favorite like cruelty-free vegan products that I'm gonna use and that I have been using um, for the summertime, just cause, you know, finding that like glow and like a bunch of like different beauty products, like the sea salt spray for your hair and like the tanning and all that, it can be difficult to find uh, stuff that's not tested on animals and it's cruelty-free. So I figured I'd just show you guys some of the beauty products before I pack these up, uh, just as an extra little bonus vegan stuff. Okay, so I did go ahead and change into something a bit more comfortable, just like my pajamas, really. This is a Conscious Muscle Supplements shirt. They're a vegan supplement company. The back, I'll show you. It says, vegan strong all day long. So, we love that. <laughs> but, okay, so oh, we're just going over the products super quick um, before I pack them up. This is the tan I've been using, to tan to give a damn uh, by B-Tan. And it actually says right on the back, um, that they're cruelty free and vegan friendly. Um, so it says there at the bottom in pink, vegan friendly. So that's super awesome. And then of course, any of Pacifica products, they're all cruelty free and vegan. Um, I've been using this for my hair just to kind of 
get like a beachy wave and then they also have like a product that's like in this type like of tub and it's more hair. of like a conditioner with like banana scent and chia seeds and, and then, then also helps my, um, get like sunscreen again waves. they have after like tanning and working out with your hair and, and it's all that gross, you can see there like the colors they're pretty dark and pretty bronzy so like definitely be mindful of that it's not like regular sunscreen like this will transfer color onto your clothes and stuff so yeah just be mindful of that but these are awesome and they smell really nice and then for my face i've been using these this pacifica vegan collagen sunscreen um again because i am on accutane i just have to be so cautious of the sun so i've been using these for my body and then mixing a little bit with my foundation for my face and putting this underneath my foundation as like a primer and a base just to make sure i'm extra you know protected and i've been putting this on my ears on my neck anywhere that can be exposed to the sun that's areas we don't really think about and it's been super great and like the benefits of having vegan collagen on in there obviously helps out for like other body care and moisturizer I use Bath and Body Works because they are not tested on animals um, and their dermatologist tested there. So again, it's super good for sensitive skin and for vegans since it is cruelty free and it smells super nice because I'm obsessed with like smelling good. So this is a great option to stay like hydrated, your skin, especially if you're also on Accutane, you constantly need that moisture. So having something that smells good that, you know, is sustainable for a vegan lifestyle is super helpful. And this Juliet's Got a Gun. Typically I go for the regular one, but for Hawaii, I got the Vanilla Vibes one. And this is so nice and like fresh and like warm vanilla musky type of smell. It's delicious, um, but this is a cruelty-free perfume. It's my favorite. It lasts so long and it smells so good. So these are like body smelling good products that I've been using. And last but not least is this Koala. I think is how you say it, Kula, something like that. Sunscreen, these are scented also. Um, this is the Guava Mango. It, it smells good, but it also kind of smells like, I don't know, there's like, you know, like mango when you taste it, sometimes there's like a, I can't really describe it, but there's like almost that bitterness, like you can smell that in this and it almost smells like, like masking body odor. So, I mean, it smells good and it smells fruity, but at the same time, it's got that like musky mango scent. So I don't know. I don't know if I love it. Um, I might try some of the other scents because they do have other like scents in this. Um, but this also says on the back here, cruelty free and vegan friendly. So this is just another nice option to have a scent, but also SPF and this is, um, SPF 50. So it's quite a high SPF. Um, and it's got plant protection, ultra lightweight, hydrates and nourishes. And this is just a spray as well. If you didn't want like, you know, the bronzy colors to rub off on your clothes because I know how I know how annoying that is <laughs> but yeah these are just some of the vegan vegan products uh, beauty products that I'm going to be taking with me that I'm going to use all summer as well to give me that beachy glow and beachy salty waves and yeah okay so let's move on I'm going to pack this up and then we'll move on to how I'm going to pack my supplements Okay, so since we're doing like a day in a life, <laughs> before I pack my supplements and like go through that whole process, I'm gonna eat my next meal. It's already prepped, so I just have to microwave it and I need to add my beans, um, but it's just half a cup of black or pinto beans, one third of a cup of brown rice and some greens and a scoop of protein. And lately what I've been doing, I figured I'd show you because this is like such a hack. <laughs> so I've been using this uh, Ambrosia plant protein, planta plant protein by Ambrosia um, in the peanut butter banana flavor. This is so flavorful. It's so delicious. So I've been putting um, half a cup of kale into the blender and then I've been putting um, my scoops, 20 grams of protein into there, mixing it so with here's some my ice meal and some three. water and some beans, stevia, greens, and it makes like rice, a smoothie, and it, and like it tastes smoothie. like a smoothie that I've added um, actual this banana protein and butter you, to, delicious. so it makes the world of difference. So I'm gonna Another thing I'm going to bring with me is my measuring cups, just because I like to keep these very consistent. I don't like to use different measuring cups, you know, because I'm sure half a cup is half a cup, but I'm just anal about it. So I'm going to bring my measuring cups with me my Udo's oil, I'm gonna bring that with me as well, my B vitamin, and my woman's daily. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring all these guys with me for starters. <laughs> and then I'm gonna bring these. These are the Conscious Muscle BCAAs in the guava flavor. 
I put two scoops in my gallon of water with my Onward by Run Everything Labs. I do one scoop of that and two scoops of these BCAAs and I sip on that throughout the day. So I'm gonna bring those guys as well. So also what I'm gonna bring with me are these vanilla cream sweet drops and this decaf instant coffee. I've actually found a really good hack for lattes blending some of this like for some reason the instant coffee it makes really good foam so it again like tricks me into thinking I'm having a latte with milk if I blend this with my vanilla sweet drops it literally like tastes like a vanilla latte and it makes the foam on the top so I'm gonna bring those with me also you never know when you need some sweet drops and I picked up this little so I actually picked up this bag from six pack meals so from like just, a discount nutrition you know. store and I'll go ahead and show you. It so um, I, can make I picked this up because I prepped all my meals for tomorrow to take with me to the airport and through the plane and everything. So I'm going to use this as like my carry on and put all my meals in the bottom of this bag and then just the other stuff that I'm going to carry on the plane. Um, but it's a really nice bag. So, you know, obviously it's fake leather, but six pack fitness, it's got the zippers. And then, you know, just some space on the top so I can bring a charger and, you know, all the other things that I'm gonna need on the plane. And then over here, it has the meal department. So, It's got room for four meals and some ice packs, so I'll just put the rest of my meals in the top and then, you know, put my scoops of protein maybe in some plastic bags in here or something. Um, but yeah, this is a super nice little travel bag, so I figured I'd show you guys just so you can see how I'm going to track my meals tomorrow on the plane and everything. And then I'll probably pack all my so other yeah, little supplements other supplement I'm gonna into be bringing is um, this on gold like, standard. Like obviously the coffee and things that I'm in not the gonna need throughout the day. I'm I'll just pack this protein in and my um, ambrosia check bag. Uh, but like my nice. in the banana peanut butter flavor. So I'm just gonna bring those two. And then like I said, my seasonings, my vitamins, my Accutane, you know, all of that stuff. I'm also going to take a picture of my meal plan. Um, like I said, the only thing that's changed with my meals is instead of one tablespoon of Udo's oil, I'm having one teaspoon. I know my meals, but you know, this just in case, we're going to snag a picture of this. This is my big um, canopy on my bring bed. bring with me along with a notebook and so I can a track all my workouts all and all my supplements and everything while I'm out there as well. Just to kind of, you know, make sure everything stays in track while I'm away. Are you going to come with mommy? We can come to mom with mommy to Hawaii. <laughs> Apparently, I need my entire closet to take with me to Hawaii. <laughs> All right, you guys, I just finished packing. So I'm gonna head to the gym for round two today. I already did chest this morning. Now I'm just gonna head to the gym and do my 40 minutes of cardio on the stair, uh, not the Stairmaster, the treadmill on an incline. I do a 2.7 uh, speed at a 12.5, 13 incline, not holding on for 40 minutes. Then I'm gonna jump into the sauna for 25, 30 minutes probably. Head home.
Good morning, you guys. Sorry you can't see the lower half of my face. You know how a mask life is nowadays. But, um, oh man. So, yesterday we missed our flight because my mom, like, you know, she has cancer, so she has a hard time getting around. And we just, with doing security and everything else we had to go through, we just didn't leave ourselves enough time to get to the plane. We literally got to the gate right as she closed it. And they were like, nope, nope. So... We took our COVID test on um, Monday, which was the third, I think, was a Monday. And um, no, maybe it was a, th- uh, yeah, it was Monday, Monday the third. And your COVID test for Hawaii has to be 72 hours negative before the time you depart. So we would have de- flown to LA and departed LA like literally at 10 o'clock, three days, you know, like just barely almost 72 hours. So we didn't make that flight the next flight to la wasn't until 11 so by the time we would have gotten to la it would have been past our 72 hours from the time we took our covid test so we um decided all right let's just go get a new covid test they'll be the results will be back in one to two days we'll go to la we'll stay in la for a couple days until we get our test back and then we will go to hawaii from here so excuse my current condition (laughs) That's why I look a little stressed and I look a little miscombobulated right now, Um, but we're making it happen. So thank God that there was a gym in LA that, I mean, a hotel in LA that had a gym. Um, So that's where we're here now, and uh, I can still get my workouts in. And I went to go get my first meal this morning because we also, this is just how it's going, right? But we're determined to make it happen. Like, fate does not want this to happen, but it's going to happen. We're going to go to Hawaii. (laughs) But, um, we, we, I went to go order my, my meals last night because all my shit and all my supplements, all my clothes, everything is in Hawaii right now because it went with our first flight. So we literally don't have anything. Like, I'm in the gym in my pajamas right now. that's what level we're on but I went downstairs because like I said to the to little breakfast nook because our groceries didn't get delivered last night they they got delivered to a wrong address so oh my goodness so I go downstairs to get my oatmeal right and I was like look I have a strange request but I'm in a bodybuilding prep right now and this is just how it needs to happen right like I just need half a cup of oatmeal they had some raw almonds sitting there at the counter thank god so I bought those and I was like can like I don't have my Udas oil I don't have anything and I'm not gonna buy Udas oil right now because if we're leaving in two days I can't bring it on the plane and I won't you know I have a teaspoon a day so or a tablespoon a day so like I will have a tablespoon a day I can't even math right now it's too early So I wouldn't even be able to bring that with me and that'd just be a waste of money. And I know they're not going to have that here. So I was like, can you just put half a a thing of oats? Just half a cup of oats for me, please? And they were like, um, we can't charge you for that. We have to charge you for the full thing. So I paid $18 for half a cup of oats and some almonds this morning. Yep, yep. But um, before I eat that... (laughs) I figured, you know what, we're here, we're going to do some fasted cardio, so I'm going to do my treadmill for 40 minutes um, on my 13.5 incline, like 2.7, 2.8 speed. I kind of go back and forth between the two, I start at like 2.5 for 5 minutes, and then I'll go to 2.7, and then from there I'll go to 2.8 for like, you know, over half of the time, um, just because my coach wants me to take um, longer, wider strides, and I'm 5'3", so that's hard to do if I up the pace any, any more, like, any faster, because then I'm just trying to catch up to the treadmill, you know, so, in order to do wide, long strides, work your glutes more, I just up the incline and lower the speed a little bit, so 2.7, 2.8, 13.5, like, 12, 11 to 13.5 incline, um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and show you the gym. Sorry for my little mid-travel rant, but um, we didn't get any more filming done yesterday because it was just a crazy day trying to figure everything out. So now we're going to Hawaii uh, tomorrow. Let's pray those fucking COVID tests come back by then, I swear. But I'm going to show you the little gym. I got a little shoulder workout in last night, so and the gym is like literally always empty, like nice so maybe I can film a workout while I'm here. You'll just have to excuse that it's in my pajamas, because I literally went <laughs> to the airport and shot. I was like, I need it. I just need it this morning. <laughs> 
Um, some bikes. And they have this nice little water station of towels, which regular gems don't even have that. So they've actually got a decent selection in here of like different cardio options, but um, my coach only has me on the treadmill right now. So, and you get a nice little view outside. So there's the pool and there's a little bit of LA. <laughs> um, let's see, and then over, I'm trying to focus it, there we go. So then over here, we have the weight section. Um, and there's a little ab section, nice little mirror. And then they've got like two inches, big giant mirror, some dumbbells, TV, and a little cable station. So they actually have like a decent little gym for a hotel. I'm not mad at it. So yeah, um, like I said, I did some shoulders last night because doing it yesterday morning before the airport just wasn't gonna happen. Um, obviously we were lacking a little bit yesterday, so. But we still got it done. I got four hours of sleep that night and we still managed to <laughs> come in here and work out in the night, so. Um, yeah, this is just the little gym. I'm gonna hit my cardio now. Thank God I brought my cosmetics with me on the plane so that I can get ready for the day and eat my breakfast. And hopefully those COVID tests come back. I swear, COVID has made life so hard.
Sasha is goddess by the name of Hiyata. Right now she's nurturing the mountains, yeah? The highest point on that ridge line, about 1900 feet, a place we call Kanehoalani. Kanehoalani means man's heavenly companion.
tank right? Nobody lives there. The clearings, the frigates, and the red footed movies out there. That tail ship with this so is known as more popular. Thank you. 
Hello, my loves. Sorry, I look like this. I just got done training at the lift factory. We did some back today and some abs and some cardio. Um, it's been about a few days, not a full week, but a few days since we've been back from Hawaii. And I just wanted to film a little outro. Um, we stayed on track for the most part. You know, I had dinner with my mom once or twice, um, but for the most part, we went to Walmart. We bought what we could find. The Walmart there was slim pickings, but we still made it work. At least still have majority of my prep food. The other thing they didn't have was the extra firm tofu, so like high protein tofu. So I just bought extra firm protein. Pro, pro, blah blah blah. <laughs> they didn't have the extra firm protein tofu, so I just bought extra firm regular tofu to replace that for the week. But other than that, oatmeal was fine. Even like the little hotel breakfast, like when we had to stay in LA for that little bit before we could go to Hawaii. Um, they had oatmeal down in their little lobby, so I just asked for half a cup, and they had almonds actually there in the snack center that I just bought that were plain. So, you know, for the most part, it was really easy to stay on track. Even, like, going through the airport, you could typically find, like, you know, oats or veggies and rice, you know, so it was really easy to travel with all my stuff. I, you know, made my meals, brought them on the plane with me, went to Walmart out there, and like I said, the best part about being vegan is that none of this stuff like has to be actually cooked through. So I just threw it in the microwave and we were golden. Um, but tomorrow is gonna be, we're gonna be 14 weeks. So this, this video is gonna be 16, 15 weeks out. Um, tomorrow is gonna be 14 weeks about, so. Um, tomorrow I'm going to train legs with my coach in the morning and uh, then I'm going to go over my diet plan and things are going to change tomorrow. I'm, I'm a little nervous but it'll be good. This is you know where we really got to dial in and like I, I don't do well with being hungry. I've never been the type of person to just let myself go hungry. Like I've, I've always been an eater. I've always been a foodie and lifting was like my hobby to kind of cope with that keep myself looking good with that so um, i also went to vegan culinary arts school so like cooking is just what i love to do right thank god i'm single and i don't have anyone to cook for right now or that would be a real struggle um but yeah so tomorrow things are going to change things are going to dial in we're looking a little bit leaner my weight's dropping down a little bit my water's finally coming off a little bit um so that's all good but yeah, I just wanted to close out this video and, you know, sorry that I wasn't really talking much throughout it, but I promise in the next videos while I'm home and, you know, my mom's done with her surgery now, so she's cancer free. Yay! <laughs> but um, now that all that is kind of out of the way and we did our trip and we got all this taken care of, now I can actually start like focusing more on my YouTube videos and talking more and explaining a little bit more about certain things. But I just wanted to show you guys around Hawaii, kind of show you my quick little gym workout that I did in there, how I kind of traveled with my meals, what I brought, that sort of thing. Just like a little travel vlog, I guess, really. Um, but 14 weeks. Mm. 14 weeks, guys, my first ever woman's physique show. <sighs> Let's do it, though. Let's build this name for veganism. I love you guys so much. Thank you for your support, and I will see you in my next video.